The Brigantine is probably the most popular ship in Skull and Bones due to its unmatched speed and its high firepower. But if you build it to maximize flooding damage, it becomes a higher damage beast, which is perfect to quickly sink enemy ships in PvP. If you build it correctly, it will quickly stack severe damage that repair kits can't fix, which is why it's perfectly suited for PvP. With this build, I have easily sunk multiple snow and brigantines in PvP, and the severe damage seems to take most players by surprise. He's done for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. It works really well for cutthroat cargo hunts because we can sink them quickly and then grab the flag and run without them being able to catch us. And if they fast travel ahead, then we can just repeat the process. Ubisoft are introducing new PvP events in the next update that's just around the corner. So it's a great time to have a good PvP build up your sleeve. Our main aim for this build is to get the enemy ships in the flooded state. So our Carronade's Riptide perk activates, which stacks all of that severe damage quickly. So let's jump straight into the build so I can show you how it all works. Firstly, we are using the Brigantine for this build because it has the built-in Bullhorn perk, which has many benefits, but the main one we want is the ability that applies flooded status to an enemy ship upon ramming. We want as many opportunities as possible to flood the enemies because this activates the Carronade severe damage perk. For the auxiliary weapon, we are using the Leopold 3 because it causes flooding damage, which is the main damage type we want. Plus, it does a lot of base damage as well, which is always helpful. For the bow, port and starboard, we are using the carronades, as we will usually have the enemy ship flooded, so we can continuously fire at them with the cannons and cycling from broadside the front cannons on reloads, and this is why the severe damage builds so quickly. The brigantine also has four weapon ports on the front, so it works great for the carronades, as they are classed as below deck weapons, and therefore can use all four gun ports. Due to the stern only having two gun ports, I used the Dardanelles for some extra damage, as only having two carronades doesn't do as much damage on their own. For the hull armour, I recommend using the Wrathful Ward, as most of the fighting with this build is at very close distances. So when the other players fire at you, whilst you're near them, brace and they will be hit with the poison damage, and lose crew stamina at the same time which is great for us because they won't be able to brace as often and therefore leaving them open to more damage. Now the last part of our build is the furniture pieces. For the major furniture, I use the water tank as we will be bracing a lot between enemy volleys, especially when facing teamed up enemies. Then culverin works, so our carronades do an extra 19% elemental damage, meaning the flooding and severe damage is increased. Next is lead kettle so our enemies remain flooded for longer, meaning our carronades have a bigger window to do the severe damage. Then iron cladding station, so our ramming does an extra 25% damage, which stacks really nicely with the bullhorn perk on the brigantine. For the final furniture piece, I've been using the Lapotent schematics, so I can do more damage in PvE. But if you wanted a pure PvP build, I would swap this out for either the starboard or port powder kegs for the extra 10% damage on the carronades. Also, if you don't like to ram enemy ships, then swap iron cladding for starboard or port powder kegs. Your carronades will be doing some amazing damage with that. And there it is. This build is a lot of fun and very powerful if used correctly. The best way to use it is to hit them with a the Leopold 3 at range to get that flooded status on them. Plus do some heavy base damage while you're at it. And in between the reloads, use your carronades as they can build the flooded status too and do some good damage. And don't forget to brace when they fire at you and get that toxic gas on them from your hull and drain their stamina. And if you can always ram them, do it because it'll stun them for a couple of seconds and will guarantee a flooding status. PvP can be a lot of fun like this 2v2 you can see right now. So it's always good to have a good build to give you the best chances. And that wraps up my video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like as it really helps me out. I'm excited to see the new PvP opportunities that are coming this week in the update. What are you most hoping for to be added? Is it PvP or PvE? There's so many great things they could add in. Unfortunately, I didn't win this cutthroat cargo, but I still had a lot of fun. I hope to catch you out in the Indian Ocean. Bye! I can't tell where it is. Neither can I. I have no idea what's happening anymore.
I don't think they're friends, eh? I don't even know. Oh. Damn it. That, that was, was pretty. Good shot. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't the original guy that, then, that cashed in then, I don't think. No, it looks like it was. Oh, Patsy was the original guy though, wasn't he? Yeah, but did he get it? Or was it this other dude, the team special dude? I'm not sure in the end. That was pretty fun. 